a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yes, I'm talking about Canning Hill Pierce, which is sitting on the former Liang Court site. Okay, so um, I think we have talked a lot about location, 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 and I believe every single one of us here will agree that the uh, single most important recipe in a, in a successful um, property investment is location itself. And today, this location that I'm going to share with you is no ordinary location. So what were we talking about? The former Liangkot site that we are talking about sits on our historic Singapore River. And we know how important this Singapore River is to Singapore because this is where our ancestors gathered and pioneered what we are today. Okay, this 3.2 kilometers Singapore River is the lifeline, okay, the, uh, the, the lifeline of Singapore for the past 200 years. Okay, so the Singapore River that we know in the past was a bustling trading port. Not only is um, the site that I'm talking about is of great uh, historical significance, it remains highly relevant today. Okay, this site that I'm talking about has transformed from a bustling trading port to a vibrant entertainment, dining, lifestyle, and tourism destination that we call Club Key today. Okay, this is where we see the old bomb boats, the old warehouses having been refurbished, transformed into sightseeing boats and trendy high-end restaurants. Okay, so besides uh, being a very unique um, historical location of great significance, okay, that is highly relevant today, this site that I'm talking about sits right in the center of major activity areas. So just now we showed Canning Hill Pierce right next to this Fort Canning MRT station. It is actually sitting between the Fort Canning uh, Park as well as the Singapore River. Can you see that we are surrounded, literally surrounded and hugged by all the major activity areas. We are in close proximity to the Orchard Shopping Belt. Okay, very short distance to the River Valley Residential Enclave, which is well loved by local as well as expats. Obviously, we sit along the Singapore River, along the whole Singapore River, we sit in the heart of Clark Key. Singapore River is made up of three parts, Robertson Key, Clark Key, as well as Boat Key, and we are in the heart of Clark Key. We are also a short distance to our central business district, our arts and civic district, as well as the up and coming Ophir Rocho Corridor, where you see new developments such as South Beach Residences, Midtown Modern, as well as Midtown Bay. Okay, so we have talked about this unique location being of historic significance. Number one, remains highly relevant in today's modern Singapore, okay, as well as being strategically located in the heart of everything. And obviously, we are also, this location also have unparalleled connectivity. If you look at this portion here, Okay, the Canning Hill Pierce, which sits on the former Liang Court site, is actually um, has a direct connection to Fort Canning MRT station. It is also a short walk to Clark Key itself, eight minutes walk. So this location is definitely exciting because besides having historical um, significance in a very vibrant Clark Key location, it has a direct connection to one MRT station and a short walk to another MRT station. So we are covered by the blue downtown line as well as purple line. And if you look at my chart below here, these two boxes, you can see that within three to six stops, we are accessible to more MRT exchanges. Of course, being along Singapore River, as all of you um, should be very familiar with this location, we are only eight minutes walk to the central, Funan Mall as well. And in terms of driving, we are 10 to 15 minutes to many locations such as our Orchard Shopping Belt, CBD area, as well as our MBS. And for those of you who are not familiar, along Singapore River, we are close to many jetties. And obviously, residents here have a unique mode of transport, which is to travel by river taxi or river cruise. So you can see why a lot of expats love to stay along the Singapore Rivers because they can literally walk, jog, cycle and even take a river taxi to um, their workplace at Raffles Place. And most importantly, when we talk about a key ingredient in um, investment, I talk about location. Not only must the location be strategic, the location must be a place where there is, where homes are really, really very rare because that will make your product even 
more uh, precious. So we are talking about an exciting location, a strategic location, and a place where homes are naturally very rare. Look at this URA map, okay? For those who are familiar, okay, you know that the peach color ones are pure residential land. And along the Singapore River, I'm talking about the land that is literally next to the Singapore River. You can see that the peach color land are very far and few, okay? And most of the homes along Singapore River are actually sitting on all these pink color lands or the blue color ones, which represents okay, either okay, resident, residential with commercial at level one or commercial as well as residential um, land. Okay, most of the land along Singapore River are usually marked purple, which is actually site for hotels or uh, commercial, okay, dark, dark blue like this, okay, which is actually more for malls, okay, as well as offices, okay, for commercial spaces. As you can see, this whole 3.2 kilometers Singapore River, this most of the homes are actually along the Robertson Key part. Once you start the boat key, sorry, the club key, as well as the boat key part, you hardly see any land that is for residential, except for this Canning Hill Pierce here. Okay, so do you know that there are currently only 14 existing developments? You look at all this, uh, what you call that blue uh, blocks here. There are currently only 14 existing developments along Singapore River. And of all these 14 developments in total, there are 200, sorry, 2,159 homes along the Singapore River. And there are two new ones that's coming up. One is actually Riviere, and the other one is Canning Hill Pierce. Okay, so without these two, okay, there are only 2,159. And including Riviere as well as Canning Hill Pierce, there are only going to be 3,310 homes. And more important, everyone here, that if you were to look at this whole URA map here, can you see there is literally no vacant plot available for redevelopment. So this is why I want to share with you that homes along Singapore River, whether new or old, old they are very, very rare. So what more am I, are we talking about? Okay, sorry, let me just share this side. What more are we talking about homes which are brand new? So if you remember just now, I talked about all these 14 homes. If you were to look at the age, most of the homes along Singapore River, okay, in a few years time will be a decade or even four decades old. So this makes brand new developments that Canning Hill Pierce as well as Riviere, these two brand new developments to be extremely precious. Because number one, supply of homes along Singapore River is already very limited. What more? brand new homes, okay, and given these two developments are the only brand new ones and no more new lands is coming up, this make brand new homes along Singapore River indeed a precious asset. When we talk about an uh, exciting location, we have already shared historical significance, relevance in today's modern world, okay, we have talked about it being having unparalleled connectivity, being the heart of it all, being in a place where supply is extremely low, what more do we have? Okay, a place where there's going to be continued transformation, where the neighborhood is going to be continuously be delightful because our URA recognized that Singapore River sits in the central area of Singapore and it's important to continuously enhance this area to make sure that our city center remains dynamic. So we are very lucky to be in this part of everything, remember? So the government is going to continue enhance this neighborhood by, can you see, number one, we can talk about all this major bicycle track. This place is not only accessible by many public transports, like the buses, okay, by the, uh, by the uh, major roads. We are also easily connected by bicycle track from all over Singapore, the North-South Corridor, Bishan to City, Geylang to City, the East Coast Park to City, Queenstown to City, as well as Rail Corridor. And in our city centre itself, there are many, many parks, be it the Pearl Hill City Park, Fort Canning Park, our Civic District, our Raffles Place Park. There are many, many. For example, there is going to be a six kilometres uh, green connection from Istana, so, sorry, from the uh, Botanic Gardens to Istana, okay, to the Fort Canning Hill, through the Singapore River to the Pearl Hill Centre. 
So, and there are also a lot of exciting enhancements that will allow us to walk from hill to hill, which means it's from Fort Canning Hill all the way to Pearl Hill Center. Okay, so now we talk about um, a location as special as a historic Singapore River in the heart of Clark Key being extremely exciting. What more, okay? My question to everyone is number one, homes along Singapore River are extremely rare. New homes along Singapore River are even more rare. So what more, okay? Where we talk about new integrated developments that's along Singapore River. So what does this make, uh, uh, make you feel about this development? Okay, so let me share with you, okay, there are only, okay, we are talking about private non landed residential homes. At this moment, the total existing supply in the whole of Singapore, private non landed residential is 340,000. Okay, for sure, yes, we do have one point something million dollar, I said one point something million homes in Singapore, but 80% of our homes are actually HDBs. Okay, the remaining homes, 340,000 are actually private non landed residential homes and including new supplies that's coming up, say 50 over 1,000, uh, we will have in future 390,000 private non residential homes. And do you know out of this 390,000 private non residential homes, there out of this only 11,000, less than 12,000 of these are actually um, integrated developments. So if you do, if you were to divide 11,590 homes over 390,000 homes, you can see that integrated development make up of only less than 3% of the supply of the Singapore's total supply of private homes, private non-landed residential homes, only under 3%. Okay. And if I were to break this down, break this number down further, do you know that out of this 11,000, only 4,409 of them are in the central region, okay? So which means if you have to divide 4,400 over 390,000, you can see that it makes up only of 1% of the total supply. So integrated developments in central region makes up only 1%, okay, of the total home supply, total private home supply in Singapore. And if we were to break it down further, if you were to buy, if you are looking to buy one that is actually from the developer, that's what we call it from the primary market, there's only 454 units left. Okay, so you can find that in like Midtown Modern, Midtown Bay, but there are only uh, places like this or even Marina one, all these are only 454 units left. So the total availability for you to buy from the primary market is only 0.12% of the total supply that we have here. So I hope you're getting my drift here. Okay, remember, homes along Singapore River are rare. Brand new homes along Singapore Rivers are even more rare because land are very hard to come by. Okay, brand new integrated, brand new homes that are sitting within the integrated developments along Singapore Rivers are extremely precious, okay? So even if I were to include Canning Hill Pierce into this 454, okay, Canning Hill Pierce has 696 unit, 1,000 unit, you can see that this number probably become maybe something like 0 0.3, okay? So it is extremely rare product that we are talking today. So we are, I'm not sharing with you just a rare location, but also a very rare product class in a very rare location. So allow me to share more about the uh, product itself, okay? Canning Hill Pierce is actually sitting on the former Liang Court site. And you can see that this former Liang Court site is a rare site with many outstanding locational attributes. Like I mentioned before, this location is, is sitting on historic Singapore River. It is sitting in a very vibrant lifestyle tourist destination, the Clark Key. It has unparalleled connectivity, okay? And what more, it is a place, the only place in Singapore that is blessed with the dual frontage of having a hill as well as a Singapore River. So it is very blessed to have both, not just one, but both the hill as well as the river elements. And because of this surrounding, okay, the units here are assured to have spectacular views. 
So over here, the developers are going to transform this rare site into a new iconic landmark like this along Singapore River. And this is not just a brand new residential home, it's going to be a brand new integrated development with luxurious residences. It's going to have a hotel, it's going to have a service apartment, it's going to have a commercial component. Okay, I, I hope you're excited to see more of this. Okay, so the developer for this Canning Hill Pierce is known none other than Capital Land as well as City Developments. Okay, initially a lot of people thought Riviera would be the last new launch along the Singapore River because um, along the Singapore River, that was the last government land sales slide. Okay, that was why the uh, Riviera, that, Riviera that I was talking about was sitting on the former Jakim site, which was the former Zook site, okay, which is along the Singapore uh, um, um, they see Robertson Key Park. At that time, when the, that being the last government land sales site, uh, site was launched, a lot of developers showed a lot of interest. Okay, 10 top developers went to bid for the land. Okay, so and that because there was no other vacant land possible. And this former Liang Court site was actually previously owned by CDL as well as Capital Land. Okay, the Somerset, um, this part was actually the Somerset service apartment. Okay, owned by the CDL, and this part was actually the uh, Novotel Hotel by the um, uh, Capital Land. So this site became available because of an exchange of interest between these two, uh, what you call that, uh, giants in the industry. Otherwise, redevelopment of this site wouldn't have been possible. Because of the collaboration between these two giants, we have this opportunity to redevelop this very exciting site. And this site uh, belongs to Capital Land and CDL on a 50-50 basis. Okay, former Liang Court site, okay, we sit on District 6, okay, and we are actually sitting, uh, and this place is going to have four um, towers, very four exciting towers. Two of them are the residential towers, one being 24-storey, and the other one is a 48-storey high. And the 48-storey high one will be the tallest residential tower along Singapore River. And what more, everyone? This development will very um, interestingly also have a very exciting address, which is One Club Key. So if any one of you would like to enjoy a property that has a very well-known and well-recognized address as the number one Club Key, you should not miss the Canning Hill Pierce launch. As I mentioned earlier, this project is going to have 696 units. We are going to have two residential towers, one two residential towers, one service apartment, okay, one hotel, as well as um, a two-story commercial podium. It'll be easier when I show you this chart. Okay, so this is how Canning Hill Pierce and its um, other developments. So Canning Hill Pierce refers to these two um, residential towers. One is actually number one, five, uh, number one Clark Key. It is a 48-story um, residential towers. And another one is five Clark Key our 24-storey um, tower here. And together in this integrated precinct, we have a 20-storey um, Somerset um, service residence, which will be operated by Escort, as well as a 21-storey Moxie Hotel that will be operated by Merit International. We will also have a two-storey commercial podium, and this will be known as a Canning Hill Square. I'm just going to pause here for everyone to appreciate this slide. Look at the surrounding. Look at the beautiful views that one can enjoy being in the tallest residential building in the whole of Singapore River. Okay, so this, can you see, this is why I say that this is gonna be an iconic integrated development with breathtaking views. And the next few slides, okay, I'm really very excited because the next few slides, I'm going to share with you the views that is more from the eastern side. What views can you see from the various levels? So this is on, remember just now, okay, so I'm just going to repeat. So I'm going to show from you from the eastern view to the northern view to the western view. So there's one, two, three, and the southern view will be four. So I'm just going to move on. So approximately... At the level 10 from Canning Hill Pierce, okay, a residence living at level 10 
facing towards the eastern view can already get the Singapore flyer as well as the MBS views. And this is approximate level from level 10. And once you go up to level 30, the views are spectacular. Okay, later I will share with you that as an investor, you do not have to buy level 30 okay, for yourself or for your tenants to enjoy spectacular views like that because the facilities level are not just on level 3, but they're also on level 24 and even on level 45. Okay, so this is level 30. And what kind of views can you get when you go up to level 45? Can you see this? You can literally see the MBS, of course, MBS and beyond. And for those that is actually facing towards a northern view, how often do you come across a city home that gives you such beautiful greenery views, a, I mean, a view that your eyes can relax, your eyes can travel, your eyes can wander, can enjoy all these big pieces of greenery. And this is at level 10 again, level 30, you can see the whole of the canning, uh, the Fort Canning Hill and beyond. And once you are level 45, of course, you can see the entire uh, um, towards the Orchard Road, towards the Istana um, direction. And now I'm going, going to move on to the, um, on the Western view. The Western view is more towards this, this Robertson Key. This is actually the Robertson Key direction. Okay, and this is actually towards the River Valley um, residential enclave. So this is at level 10, level 30. Can you see? You can see more of this meandering Singapore River and towards the Orchard, um, the residential areas that's towards River Valley as well as the Orchard areas. And this is the spectacular views okay, of the homes in one of the most prime district in Singapore, District 9 and 10, okay, towards the orchard area, as towards the Grange, towards the orchard area and beyond. Now, if we look towards the south, of course, this is our historic Singapore River. At level 10, you're already going to get a very expensive views like this. Level 30, you see the Singapore River when you look down and also towards the Pearl Hill City Park and beyond. And this is the view at level 45. So how do you like it so far? Okay, now back to our development itself. Remember, the key point I'm talking about is that we have an outstanding location. And with this outstanding location, we have an outstanding product to match this outstanding location. And this outstanding product is an integrated development okay, that comes with four levels of basement. Okay, why am I showing you this basement level? Because I want to show you that our uh, residential um, residents here, residents staying in the two residential block can actually access, has a direct access to the Fort Canning MRT station through our, level, uh, through our basement one. Okay, so in this development, we have, this residential towers, we have service apartments. Okay, this is the cross-sectional views. We have the hotels, okay? And then if you were to go from your block down to level one, you can actually take the escalator down and that will connect you, okay, to the f &B as well as the supermarkets. And if you're at level one, of course, you can all go to our lifestyle retail shops. And then once you are actually at the service at the level, uh, sorry, at the basement one itself, if you bring the take another level down to the take another level down to basement two, that will lead you to our Fort Canning MRT station. And of course, you can also, if you prefer to walk outdoor, you can also walk down to level one, go out to the open areas, and directly walk into the uh, Fort Canning MRT station. And most importantly, can you see from this cross-sectional views? The connection from the Fort Canning um, Park here, you can actually, from the Fort Canning Park through the MRT station underground, you can come up to Canning Hill Pierce and from Canning Hill Pierce, walk out to the Singapore River. And if you were to walk further down, you can connect to Merchant Court and then to the Pearl Hill Center. Okay, so this is how well connected we are in terms of the integrated development. We are integrated. Okay, we have the four components and we are also integrated with our surroundings. From the design architect is uh, Biak Engels Group, project um, architect is DP Architects, and then we have RSD as our landscape consultant and Asylum Creative as our project interior uh, designer and China Con 
as our main contractors. Okay, this is the part that I want to come into it. It is very easy for the developers, okay, in, in actually in the architect's own words, okay, they say that they can easily design something that is just an ordinary building, but that will not befit such a rare pressure site. We have the dual element of the hill as well as the uh, Singapore River. Previously, the Liang Court site seems to be like a barrier. So what the architect really wanted to do is to visually as well as physically connect the hill as well as the river. So in his own words, he says that the design of Canning Hill Pierce is ex exceptionally ambitious because what they want to create is actually a very open and porous okay, development that is open and porous to the surrounding, not just only on the grounds. Can you see how open this place is? It is the buildings are set apart as far as possible to create open spaces and natural ventilation to make it very inviting for people to come into Canning Hill Pierce and the Canning Hill Square. It is not only open only on the ground, but it's also open, can you see, in the sky? Okay, so buildings are actually connected by this sky bridge. Can you see how open this part is? Okay, this is to make sure that residents can have um, precious, okay, value-added things such as fresh air, daylight, okay, accessibility where their eyes can travel and wander and take in the sights and sounds of the surrounding, given that we are in such a beautiful place. How many developers and architects in Singapore have this, uh, uh, have this freedom, okay, or have this opportunity to create such an exciting project like this? Exceptionally, okay, and very impressively designed. At level three, you're going to have an outdoor jogging track and um, kids, there'll be kids play area, there'll be bouldering walls. And level 24, okay, is the exciting sky bridge that you see. Okay, I'm just going to turn around. Okay, is this exciting sky bridge here? This is the part that you're going to have infinity pool. You're going to have lab pools, okay? And you're going to have sky gourmet areas. And you're also going to have flexi lounge where there are going to have work from home provisions. Okay, you're going to have even um, uh, uh, city sanctuary places where you have yoga deck, you have meditation room, you have wellness room. All of this are on level 24. And if you remember the views that I've showed you, even at level 10 itself, okay, you already can see the Singapore flyer as well as the MBS view. So at level 24, as a residence or as a tenant, you're going to enjoy spectacular views. At level 24, an important features that everyone will enjoy is also a residential reception a counter. This is no ordinary residential reception counter, okay? Over this, over at this place, okay, residents as well as tenants can enjoy welcome and welcome and as uh, welcome assistance, welcome services, and great assistance such as moving in assistance. If you want to loan umbrellas, if you are swimming at the pool, you're gonna have get a hot tower, or you're going to have guests who want some introduction to the uh, environment. All these are provided by your residential host, okay. Um, at the level 24 residential desk itself. So at level 45, the most exciting level, this is the place where people were going to enjoy even more spectacular views that I've shown you earlier on. Okay, You don't have to buy a high floor unit to enjoy this. Level 45 is open to every residence, every person who owns a unit in Canning Hill Pierce. So this is actually the most exciting level that we have here. And remember, at level 45, you will be one of the tallest residents in Singapore, uh, one of the tallest residential towers along Singapore River. And not only that we have an iconic building, okay, everything is put in plan, everything is carefully thought of. So developers have also gone into great lengths to bring in green considerations and smart home features. The developers will be using very low VOC pain to make sure that you, as an investor, you as a homeowner will enjoy healthy indoor air qualities. And definitely all the appliances, be it lighting, be it aircon, all this will be um, energy efficient. Okay, and of, of course, the, the whole design, okay, is also to make sure that there's a lot of natural ventilated corridors. So the place will be bright, airy, okay, and very well 
ventilator. So these are the 25 home um, smart features, smart home features that as a residence you'll get to enjoy. So besides the smart doorbells to uh, the smart audio intercom, we're going to even have, for those with private lift, you're even going to have a lift calling apps. Okay, um, in this development, there are a lot of consideration to make sure that residents enjoy a really comfortable lifestyle because of this um, whole pandemic that we have experienced, developers make sure that all these um, places, all the places that they, they have designed for you are actually future-proof. So they have also incorporated work from home provisions. The whole place in Canning Hill Pierce is 5G ready. They are also Wi-Fi 6 ready. And developers have also put in thoughtful facilities such as flexi ports as well as flexi lounge to allow more work from home provisions. And more importantly, okay, because of this experience that we have, um, the development will also have pandemic hygiene provisions to make sure that there is going to be a touchless experience. I just want to share with you, for those of you who are excited with what I've shared, I just want to tell you that this development has a wide variety of choices for not only investors, but also homeowners. We have 75% of our units that belong to the one bedroom as well uh, to, to, that belongs to the one to two bedrooms categories. I guess so 75%. So you can see that developers have catered on uh, three quarters of the units for investors. But for homeowners who also love this vibrant environment, okay, you are welcome, more than welcome to choose the next 25% of the units that we have, okay, we have like compact three bedrooms that starts from 900 square feet, close to 900 square feet to a super penthouse that is almost 9,000 square feet. So we literally have a choice from 409 from a one bedroom to almost 9,000 square feet. So we do have a wide variety of choices for everyone. So I'm sure you agree with me now that homes along Singapore rivers are rare. Okay, brand new homes along Singapore River are even more rare. Brand new homes that are sitting within Singapore River, okay, brand new homes that are sitting within an integrated development along Singapore River is even more precious. So wouldn't you agree with me that this is truly a never before, never again, once in a lifetime opportunity?